Hi, this is Terry from Rock Solid Technical. Thank you for joining us for a demonstration of installing vCenter Server 5. I've already copied the installation files over to my desktop in this folder called vCenter 5. If I go to the installation files, I'll locate the autorun.exe. Double click on that file. And we get our VMware vCenter installer screen. It's a little bit different than the 4 or 4 1 screens that you've seen in the past. What we're looking for here is the first option under VMware product installers, vCenter server. Then we want to click on install in the lower right. First, we choose our language. The installer prepares. Okay. Next we see our vCenter server installation. The welcome message. Click next. We then get our end user patent agreement. Review that as necessary. Click next. And then the VMware end user license agreement. Please review that as necessary. and select I agree to the terms in the license agreement. Click next. We would then you need a username. Something must be entered in organization. I'm not going to use a license key here and it will be installed in evaluation mode. I then could enter in the license key after installation and then I verified that the installation has completed successfully. Click next. Next is the database options. We would select a database, an existing database, a supported existing database, or install a Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Express instance. This is what we will be doing. And notice that it is now 2008 instead of 2005. Next is the vCenter server service. We're going to use the system account. In my demonstration I'm not part of a domain so the fully qualified domain name may give us a small warning. This is the warning. Fully qualified domain name cannot be resolved. Next we want to select the destination folders. We have an option for installing the vCenter server and the inventory services. We're going to go ahead and go with the defaults here. Click next. Next is your options for linked mode. We're going to be creating a standalone VMware vCenter server instance. It's the first option. Second is if you're going to be joining a linked mode installation. Next screen is to configure our ports. We're going to use the standard ports. Click next. And then the configure ports for inventory services. We're going to go ahead and use the standard ports for that as well. Click next. Then the vCenter server JVM memory. Our inventory size is going to be small, less than 1,000 or less than 100 hosts and or 1,000 virtual machines. Click next. And then we have ready to install the program. Click install to begin the installation.
Next we go into the SQL Server 2008 installation. The SQL Server 2008 Express setup can take a few minutes. And now the vCenter server installation begins. configuring vCenter inventory service. Okay, now our installation is complete. Go ahead and click finish. The next thing I want to do is connect to our vCenter server with our vSphere client, which I already have installed. We'll connect to that vCenter server using the IP address. and not using the host's login information, but the login information to your vCenter server. Accept the certificate. Again, you'll log in using your vCenter server's login information, not your ESX host login information. And now we have our vCenter server. We have nothing in the inventory yet except for our vCenter server located in the left hand pane. First thing that we need to do is create a data center so that we can add an ESX host. We click on create a data center. Give it a name. After we've added the data center, we want to select our newly created data center. 
and then we want to add our host. We can do this from the Getting Started tab. We can also right click on our data center and select Add Host. We can also add a host just above the left hand pane. I'll do it from the Getting Started tab. Then we want to put in our host IP address. The root username and password. Next. I see the host summary. Give me the version of ESXi and the virtual machines on that host. Click Next. I'm not going to assign a license key at this time. Click Next. We have the option to enable lockdown mode here. We're going to go ahead and leave it disabled. Select my data center. Click Next. And it allows me to review. Click Finish to add the host. We noticed in progress. Retrieving data from the vCenter agent. Processing the data from the vCenter agent. Once it's processed that data, it's added it into the database and will show connected. And now I see this host and the virtual machines on that host. Thank you for joining us for our installing vCenter Server 5 demonstration. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at www.rocksolidtechnical.com or you can give us a call at 623-297-9400. Thank you.